ओम श्री महागणाधिपते हाय माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड माय डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द वॉल्यूम एंड सरफेस एरिया ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स लाइक क्यूबॉइड सिलेंडर कोन सो ऑन इन डिफरेंट और इन स्पेशल केसेस we know how to calculate the volume and surface area of different objects and i think everyone knows uh, the shortcuts what we call it as formulas so these are the different formulas for different objects to calculate their volume and surface areas today my concept is i am considering a cuboid whose length is l b h and my interest is how to calculate volume and surface area if l is equal to b so we know that lsa of a cuboid is 2h into l plus b now what happens if l is equal to b in this form so since l is equal to b it becomes l plus l because l is equal to b so 2h into 2l so 4lh so the lateral surface area of cuboid if l is equal to b will be 4lh now let us consider the total surface area and we know total surface area of cuboid is 2 times of lb plus bh plus lh now what happens if l is equal to b so 2 times since these two are equal i will write as l square and here i am inserting l in the place of b over here lh plus lh so 2 times of l square plus lh plus lh 2lh so multiply it 2l square plus 4lh that means if you take 2l common so l plus 2h so the total surface area of cuboid becomes 2l into l plus 2h if l is equal to b now see what happens the volume what happens volume of cuboid so volume of cuboid is l into b into h so if l is equal to b then the volume is becomes l square into h cubic units okay let us consider one more object cylinder here we know that in a cylinder the top and bottom both are top face and bottom faces both are circles and this is radius and they are i think they are means since we are dealing with only right circular cylinders so the top face and bottom both are congruent circles means their radius is same and the perpendicular distance between r uh, between the centers of both the circles is known as vertical height of the cylinder or height of the cylinder now what happens if r is equal to h then what what will be its surface area curved surface area and the volume let us see that one. now we know that curved surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h now what happens if r is equal to h so 2 pi r and i am inserting r in the place of h because both are equal so it becomes 2 pi r square square units see 2 pi r square i think this is the formula to find out the curved surface area of any sphere so if r is equal to h then curved surface area of cylinder is equal to curved surface area of any sphere if their radius are equal so 2 pi r h becomes 2 pi r square when r is equal to h now see total surface area how it becomes so total surface area of cylinder is we know that 2 pi r into h plus r total surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r into h plus r now what happens if r is equal to h now i am inserting r in the place of h so r plus r when it becomes 
टू पाई आर इंटू टू आर सो विच इज फोर पाई आर स्क्वायर स्क्वायर यूनिट ओके सो टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ सिलिंडर बिकम्स फोर पाई आर स्क्वायर वेन आर इज इक्वल टू हेच एंड वी नो दैट फोर पाई आर स्क्वायर इज नथिंग बट सर्फेस एरिया और टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ स्पीय दैट मीन्स टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ सिलिंडर एंड टोटल सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ स्पीय बोथ आर इक्वल इफ दे रेडी आर इक्वल ना सी दॉल्यूम वॉट बिकम्स वॉट हैपन्स इन द केस ऑफ वॉल्यूम वी नो दैट वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलिंडर इज पाई आर स्क्वेर एच ना पाई आर स्क्वेर एंड आई एम सर्टिंग आर इन द प्लेस ऑफ एच देन इट बिकम्स पाई आर क्यूब क्यूबिक यूनिट सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलिंडर बिकम्स पाई आर क्यूब इफ आर इज इक्वल टू एच दैट मीन्स इफ आई स्प्लिट दिस वन एज पाई आर स्क्वेर इन टू आर एंड वी नो दैट पाई आर स्क्वेर इज एरिया ऑफ द बेस means cylinder base is circle so area of the base into r we can take that one also now let us consider another object cone so what is r is equal to h in case of cone what will be its surface area curved surface area volume let us observe now so we know that slant height of cone is equal to l square is equal to r square plus h square what if r is equal to h L square is equal to R square plus R square, so L square is equal to two R square. Then L is equal to R root two. Now, what we need is curved surface area. We know that curved surface area of cone is pi R L. So pi R into L is nothing but R root two, R root two. So it becomes root two times pi R square. That means root 2 times the base area of cone so if r is equal to h then curved surface area of cone is equal to root 2 times the base area of cone now let us see what is its total surface area what will be its total surface area so total surface area of cone we know that pi r into l plus R pi R into L plus R. Now let us insert. We know that L is equal to R root two. So insert R root two in the place of L. So what happens? So pi R into R root two plus R. Take R common. If you take R common, remaining is root two plus one. That means root two plus one times of pi R square. That is root two plus one times of base area of cone. Okay, children. Now see what happens volume of cone if R is equal to H. If R is equal to H, volume of cone is volume of cone is one third. Pi R square H. This one we know very well. Now I am inserting H in the place of R. R in the place of H. So into R. So it becomes one third pi R cube cubic units. So children, I think you have observed different cases or special cases of different objects like cuboid, cylinder, cone, and how its surface areas and volumes are going to change if l is equal to b in the case of cuboid r is equal to h in the case of uh, cylinder and cone i think you like this video kindly if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel share my videos thank you